Hi everybody, welcome back to the tag room, AKA Jazzy Green office, which is me. I have a tag that I want to do, and this is called the Fall YouTube Tag 2019. This is being hosted by, uh, and I believe he's the one that started. His name is Sean from Earth and Soul. And Sean does uh, candle reviews, so if any of you are interested in learning about the different scents, the new scents that have come out, especially from Body Works, uh, Bath and Body Works, um, you know, head on over to his channel and uh, watch some of his, of his videos. So there are 10 questions, I believe. Yes, there's 10 questions that I'm going to be answering, and then at the end I will tag a few people. So let's get started. Okay, number one, your favorite fall candle. Mm, I don't really have a favorite, but I'll tell you the one that I do like. I like the apple cinnamon. I do believe that Bath and Body Works has a new one out called apple, can uh, apple cinnamon, I think. I'm not sure on that, but anything apple with cinnamon in it is good. Uh, next one, your favorite fall fragrance. And it does not have to be candle specific. Anything apple or cinnamon, that's what I like. Yeah, apple or cinnamon. Um, anything fresh, you know, like um, a fresh, clean type of a smell. You know, they have candles out like that. Anything like that. It smells like a nice, clean, fresh, soapy smell, you know, um, crisp, just fresh, a fresh smell. Next B would be your least favorite fall fragrance. Your least favorite fall fragrance. Now I didn't think about that one, my least fall, oh, I can think of one now. Anything with the pumpkin smell especially straight out pumpkin. Nah, nah, pumpkin is just, ugh, no. But you know what, I would be interested in smelling a candle that's like pumpkin mixed with apple or pumpkin and orange, maybe. Now that's a big maybe, because I'm not sure if I would like it or not, because I'm just not crazy about the pumpkin thing. Okay, number two is love them or leave them. So you have to pick one or the other, and there's A, B, and C to this question. Black licorice, no. Ooh, boy, that is gross. I like red licorice any day. Uh, B, candy corn, oh, I love candy corn. Oh my gosh, they're so good, so sweet and rich, and I love the color, it's just so good, so good. C, pumpkin spice everything. No, no pumpkin at all. I tried a um, pumpkin spice latte last year from, um, uh, what is that coffee place? Uh, Starbucks. As I was drinking that drink, you guys, in the middle of it, I started to feel nauseated. So I'm thinking, no, no more pumpkin. And it could be that I just don't like pumpkin. I don't know why it made me feel sick. But I always wanted to try it, and I did, so no more pumpkin spice. Okay, number three, favorite fall drink. Coffee! Coffee is all year round, but especially for the fall, I love it because the weather is cold, and I love the hotness of my coffee, because I like my coffee really hot, you guys. Scorching hot. <laughs> my husband tells me, you're going to burn your tongue one day, but I never do. Love coffee. Number four, favorite fall recipe food. Now this is a, a food that I ate, my mother used to make it when I was a little girl growing up, called, and she calls it Ugga Bugga. That's U-G-G-A B-U-G-G-A. And what it is, is just meatballs, uh, whether you want to use turkey meat or ground um, beef, and potatoes, cut up potatoes, and you 
cook it together and you know put onions in it and it's delicious it, it's so good but you know I'm not eating those type of things anymore so oh, I miss my other bugger and what I will be eating and what I do like for the fall especially because it's cold are soups oh you got to get into those nice homemade soups a nice delicious stew oh man but for me I will have to make a stew with no meat so I'm gonna get creative this year and try to make something really really good that I can enjoy and of course your chilies you know those are good foods for the fall those are comforting foods uh, especially the ugga bugga meatballs and potatoes mmm delicious and then you put some ketchup on it or some hot sauce Whew, I'm getting hungry let me stop okay moving right along number five what makes fall special to you I love this question um, what makes fall special to me is we're transitioning uh, into the cooler temperatures oh yes Goodbye summer, hello cool. I love it. Family gathering together, uh, that's what I like. The leaves falling, I just love it you guys when the leaves fall and you can step on them and you hear the crunch. I mean, it may sound childish, but I just like to do that. I just love hearing the, the crunch from the leaves. As weird as it may sound, but that's the truth. Um, and just seeing the different colors, you know, develop with the leaves. Uh, cuddling up on the couch with my nice throw blanket, my coffee, and of course my hubby sitting right next to me. Those are things that I like. Mm, I can't hardly wait. Number six, what things signify to you fall has begun? Well, number one, the weather changes. The cold mornings, oh, I just love a nice, crisp, cold morning where you feel like you want to just put the heater on just for a little bit, but not too hot. I love the leaves falling, as I mentioned before, and turning different colors. I love those things, you guys. Also, um, runny nose and allergies cutting up. Mm not looking forward to that but I'm already experiencing a little bit of it so that's one thing and pumpkins you know you see pumpkins everywhere pumpkin at the pumpkin pad pumpkin in the stores oh man I love that number seven favorite fall colors well I like all of them pretty much but I would have to say my favorite would be orange and brown yeah brown Number eight, now this is a pick a favorite. Apple pie or pumpkin pie? Well, you can forget about the pumpkin pie because I can't stand pumpkin at all. Um, apple pie, I'd have to choose over that one. I'm not even crazy about apple pie that much because I don't like pies that have fruit pieces in it. And if it, it ha for me to eat it, it has to be really like mushy. You know, I don't like to chew up the different pieces of the, the fruit in my mouth. I don't like the way that feels. So for me, that would have to be kind of like mushed, mashed up real well and fine. And then I could eat it. I know that sounds weird, but that's the way I like my apple pie. This question number nine, we're almost done. Now, this is the way the question reads. So, thing about fall you dislike the most. You know what? I love fall. I love it, love it, love it. It's one of my favorite um, seasons, fall. What I don't like about it, and you get used to it when time goes on, is when it gets dark early. Now typically that doesn't really bother me, but it's kind of like you feel sad. It's like you're so used to the summer when it will stay sunny so late. And then now you have to kind of like gradually get used to it getting darker. And sometimes it makes me feel like, mm, you know, like sad, you know. But I, I mean, it doesn't depress me. And sometimes the weather changes, um, not the weather changes, but when the time changes for some people who deal with 
mental issues it makes them depressed well I don't I don't experience any of that thank God but it's just the fact that it's getting darker and you just feel like oh, it's gonna be time to go to bed pretty soon you know so that's what I dislike and 10 the last one do you have any fall traditions now this question I had to think nice and hard about this um, typically no I don't um, but I would have to say teaching my future grandchildren how to make sweet potato pie that's what I would love you know my, my daughter she's 32 now she does not have any children and of course Aaron doesn't have any right now he's too young but when they have one I cannot wait I mean, I would just love to be able to have them come over Granny and Grandpa's house and, you know, I go in the kitchen with them, get the sweet potatoes out and everything, and just show them how to make it. I just think that would be really, really nice and special, you know, to do uh, every year. So that would be really nice. Well, that is the end of the tag. I have answered all 10 questions, and now I'm going to tag a few people. Okay, I am tagging Bella D Designs, Mrs. V, Made with Glee, Theology, and My Happy Home. You guys are tagged. Tag, you're it. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching this tag. This was a lot of fun doing. I love doing tags, especially for the fall. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. You have an awesome day. Bye.